Parents in Boston are demanding action after weapons were found in two Boston public schools yesterday. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but discussions about implementing security measures are again front and center. NBC 10's Oscar Margain takes a look at the numbers to see if past strategies have worked. It's scary every day, it's something new, you know, a knife, bullet. Boston parents heard the news Thursday night. A knife confiscated from a student at James Condon in Southie, while a cleaver, a kitchen knife, and a taser were recovered at City on a Hill Charter School in Roxbury. There wasn't that many, you know, issues going on back then versus now. Nisha Ware is right. Her children go to Condon, which reported two cases of weapons found on campus last year. But prior to then, the last incident was in the 2016-2017 school year. At City on a Hill, seven cases of weapons in school last year, compared to just four cases total in the previous five years. Overall, Boston Public Schools reported 165 incidents of confiscated weapons last year, the highest since 2016. With everything that's happened with the pandemic, our students um, themselves are very dysregulated. Superintendent Mary Skipper says other tools are being used to increase school safety. So far, 22 of Boston's public schools have chosen to install metal detectors, while City Council President Ed Flynn wants more personnel. More mental health counselors, social workers, school police play a critical role. We talk about these solutions in a very reactionary way. But City Councilor Tania Fernandez Anderson says the past strategies haven't been enough. And while she doesn't have the ultimate solution, she wants to work with the City Council to come up with a more substantial plan. We will have to be more honest about are we really investing our finances and the resources that are necessary. The City Council will be discussing this issue in the coming days. Meanwhile, BPS says that it will be investing in security cameras in addition to the metal detectors. Reporting in Boston City Hall, Oscar Margain, NBC 10 Boston.